old bag of baseball here. We've got a little uh, Box Busters preview video, something we haven't done in a while, but uh, there's a reason we're doing this one, as you probably saw from the title. 2015 Top Series 1, the first baseball card release of the year. A uh, simple but yet in interestingly improved brand this season, at least in terms of its overall design. Uh, this is the most you know, collected, most watched brand in the hobby, year in, year out. And it's a uh, staple. So, Boxbusters preview, we'll have the standard Boxbusters video here probably next week for, or so. Um, and I'll rip into this and kind of give some details on uh, today, which is release day. So, 36 packs per box, one auto or relic per box, 10 cards per pack, and a lot of stuff inside. Uh, Yaziel Puig is on the cover and on the wrappers. One dramatically different thing this year is a colored border, which uh, corresponds to team colors, I believe. Yes. The card backs are also slightly more... Try to focus here, come on. A little more different for the norm for regular tops. And uh, there's a smattering of inserts and all kinds of surprises. So. I will show off the base cards heavily, make this a longer video than normal, and uh, go from there. Brian Dozier. The sparkles and photo variations are back once again. I'll see if I can spot them in this box as I rip. Felix Hernandez. There's also a full list of at least everything we know so far, more than 50 so far on Bega.com News. Dalton Pompey, rookie card, the logo is right there. Al Albuquerque, Tim Hudson, it's a very colorful set, uh, 350 cards, which is the largest of the last, definitely at least the last decade, Vance Worley, Jake Lamb, and the insert in pack one is an archetypes card, Mike Trout, haven't used my webcam here in a little while. It's got a little dust or something on it. It's struggling to uh, focus. Or it's maybe just me. Travis Wood. Dylan G. Edwin Encarnacion. A player who has a sparkle card in this set. However, this is not that card. Michael Waka. Pittsburgh Pirates team card. Team cards make a return this year. Pedro Alvarez, first pitch card. This is a uh, Tom Willis. The celebrities and other people have thrown out ceremonial first pitches. Tom Willis was basically born without arms. He's thrown out the first pitch at more than 20 different major league ballparks. This is a fun set, and there's some big names in there for non-sports. So we'll, hopefully we'll pull a couple of those as we go along here. Xander Bogarts, not only is he a future star, he's also a member of the Topps All-Rookie Cup team. Jordano Ventura and Gregory Polanco fill out the first, the second pack. <clears throat> Next pack. <clears throat> Carlos Beltran. Danny Espinosa. Todd Frazier. He has a sparkle card, however, that is not it. A leader's card, the traditional leader's card, that's back once again. Almost fumbled it. Reimer Liriano, Pirate Padres. The buybacks are back. Two buyback cards, I believe, per hobby box. This is a 1969 Tops number 571 Cap Peterson with a foil stamp on it. I don't think it's going to focus, but I'll try. Mark Tashira, Jason Wirth, Daniel Corsino, Zach Cosart, Mark Tashira, or as I like to say, Texiera, or something. Boom. Next pack. <clears throat> no box busters live for this one. Hopefully, we'll try to bring that one back here uh, sometime soon. I have a few different insert cards in this one. Let's see here, try not to get stuff too out of order. I'll show off a highlight of the year from 1960, 
Roger Maris. A gold parallel out of numbered out of 2015, Al Albuquerque. Tigers box so far. Craig Gentry, Alexi Ramirez, Jacoby Ellsbury. I'm actually going to try to show every card. Draw it out here. Miguel Montero. Of course, I won't have enough gas to do that, but that's okay. I'll try. Brandon Belt on a checklist card. A little highlight action. Cody Allen. Also try to check for sparkles, but odds are it won't happen. Michael Choice and Carlos Torres. Next pack. P pretty much a standard lineup as usual. Pink parallels, black parallels, um, gold parallels. There are um, some new additions, but, you know, kind of the standard stuff too. Gio Gonzalez, David Wright. As my computer goes to a screensaver. I can't see myself. Adrian Beltre, with the kind of a photograph that just screams for a sparkle. <clears throat> the Nationals team card. Shelby Miller, Andrew Susak. Brian Zimmerman, Brandon Phillips, Nolan Arenado. Free Agent 40, they, uh, this insert set shows off some of the notable free agents of the past. Greg Maddox. <clears throat> Max Pack. I'm also not going to cut this video. That'll take longer. But it'll be a longer video where we give you the full shebang, at least as much as we can here today. Not all the details, obviously, are here yet for the Sparkle variations and such. We're compiling that as we go. 1932 highlight of the year. George Herman Babe Ruth called shot in Game 3 of the World Series. New this year is a foil board parallel where it kind of accentuates the colorful design of this brand. Corey Kluber. Backs are pretty much standard. You know, nothing different there, but they're so very colorful I needed to show it again. Let's see here, how about in the same pack, B.J. Upton and Justin Upton, along with a Braves team card, and then Sonny Gray, Chris Davis, Elvis Andrews, Tyler Colvin, and Jose Iglesias. Again, I'll try to show off all of them, at least a hint of all of them, and on to the next pack. One autograph or relic per standard hobby box. Uh, sounds like there's only one autograph per typical case of 10 or 12 boxes, whichever the number is. I think it's 10, 12, 10, 12, one of those two. Hobby uh, Jumbo boxes will have an autograph, a relic, and a manufactured relic in every box. Joey Votto, Josh Reddick, Andre Ithier, New York Mets team card, Aaron Sanchez, Robinson Cano, free agent 40. Kendall Graveman, Zach Duke, John Jay, and Mike Napoli round out the pack. The full bleed back design is kind of interesting with the color and the textures and such. The colored borders will probably be uh, one that some traditionalists maybe worry about. Maybe not, though. Um, I like it, something different. I think that's probably the point, just trying something new. Um, let's see here. Connor Gillespie, Lyle Overbay, Overbay. Team card, or highlight card, of Salvador Perez's walk-off home run in the wild card game. Little league leader action. Zach Britton, base card. Yaziel Puig, archetypes. My second buyback of the box, a little bit uh, more dinged up, but still not as bad as some of the ones we've seen in the past. Bake McBride, 75 Tops card. I think he was my very first 75 Tops mini I ever bought. Kendris Morales, Jeremy Guthrie, Alexi Gondo round out the pack. Ten minutes and I've opened about five packs. This one's going to last. <clears throat> All right. 
the rappers are also piling up. So if you suddenly can't hear, it's maybe the microphone got blocked. I don't know. Yaziel Puig, Chris Owings, the Orioles and the Royals team cards. No word on if any sparkles are on those cards. Would be interesting, wouldn't it? Shane Green. Wanted to say rookie card, but no logo. Mike F. I'm not even going to try to say that name incorrectly. Gold Parallel out of 2015. Cal Ripken Jr. Archetypes. The design of this year's set is definitely one that's um, different for the brand, but I think it works. It's a, um, just a, you know, something new. you got to mix it up every once in a while. I think it's been, well, several years since the last time we've had a non-white bordered top set, so I think it's going to be welcome change to a lot of people. Maybe not everybody, but a lot. All right, let's get this stuff organized here. One of the insert sets, uh, I think it's called Then and Now, although I don't see its name anywhere on this, basically is a news-related set. So here is June 1st, 1980, CNN begins broadcasting. It's card 11A. There's an 11B that tells you something that happened that day in baseball. This box also has a Babe Ruth Call Your Shot game card where you can potentially win an autograph, autographed relic, or enter a contest for some other stuff. Kind of an online gaming component that's not necessarily all online. Team card of the Royals I've already shown. Phil Hughes, Tyler Flowers, Kevin Kiermeyer. Some base card action. Try to show a little bit of all of them. Salvador Perez, Corey Spangenberg, and Alex Presley. <clears throat> Next pack. Kind of take it on the Box Busters Live pace here, slowing it down a little bit. <clears throat> we'll have our standard Box Busters video next week, probably when stuff arrives from Tops. Um, let's see here. I think these are two per box. I think I haven't actually checked. I haven't even read the odds yet since I started rolling. Yaziel Puig, Gallery of Greats. Kind of a matted, foot, matted finish on the frame with a foil board enhanced photo in the inner parts. There are some autographed versions of these which are immensely rare and actually very interesting looking. Let's see here. Oakland A's, Sean Doolittle's crazy beard getting a little cameo action there. Daniel Murphy, Daniel Nava, Tommy Connell, Conley. I can't read. <clears throat> Buster Posey, Josh Hamilton, Mike Zanino, and Drew Pomeranz. Supposedly, the sparkle cards are seated kind of in between with your inserts, so if you see a base card that kind of feels out of place, that may be an intentional thing, so look closely. I've kind of been thrown off a couple times myself thinking I might have that scenario, but I haven't seen it yet. Let's see here. Nick Tepish, Tommy LaStella, Miguel Cabrera, Mick, you can tell it's spring training still, right? Or not even. Miguel Cabrera, a league leaders card, batting average, Jose Altuve, Victor Martinez, Michael Brantley, Stephen Moya, Antonio Bastardo, Dustin Ackley, Corey Dickerson, and David Buchanan base cards. Although this one... Lots of detail on that shot. I was looking for a sparkle. Didn't happen. Phillies, Robin Roberts, uh, 1955, April 13th. So that's the other side of the news-related insert set for that day, that year. Like I said, one hit per box. Still to come. <clears throat> Let's see here. Another foil board parallel. I'll just show three cards at a time here. Adrian Gonzalez, CJ Crone, Julio Teheran. Lead, leaders card of Trout Cabrera Cruz. A little rule tied action with an Alex Avia. I'll show some base cards here first before I show the inserts. Dice K, Austin Jackson, Anthony Renado. 
Coco Covelli, Covelli Coco Crisp with a parallel, foil board parallel. And a 1973 highlight of the year, Nolan Ryan. I'm not even halfway through the box. I stacked them in two stacks, so I couldn't tell you exactly if I am there, but it's coming along. <clears throat> definitely, definitely a uh, Tiger's box so far. How about a Miguel Cabrera Alkaline inspired play duos card? Carlos Gomez, Vidal Nuno, Trevor Rosenthal, base. Madison Bumgarner, World Series highlight card, postseason card, World Series game five. Ike Davis, Clayton Kershaw, Neil Walker, Michael Franco, and the Reds. Not going to be able to show them all here, but I'll try. Because, you know, clock's ticking. 15 minutes. Next pack. <clears throat> Matt Joyce, James Russell, Cole Hamels, Manny Machado, which was one of the hardest sparkles to identify, Brandon Finnegan, rookie card, C.J. Wilson, C.C. Sabathia, 40 free agents card, Jake Peavy, Doug Fister, Brian Schlitter. Show off the Machado. The sparkle on his card is on the base right below his glove. That's kind of a different uh, animal this year. That one's a little tougher to identify. I don't know what I'm saying. Spitting out the cliches like you said. Next pack. Henry Mejia, Brett Lowry, Manny Para, base cards. Detroit Tigers team card. Tom Kohler, base card. Ted Williams, archetypes, along with a Manny Para foil board parallel. parallel. Pineda, De Pedroia, and Didi. Didi. Next pack. <clears throat> Hopefully this won't be so long that I can't get it posted in a proper time. How about a Derek Jeter base card? Card number one, celebrating his final hit of his career at Yankee Stadium. Wish it would focus, but you know, Jeter's just not, not going to cooperate, is he? Chris Johnson, Brendan Belt, Tanner Rourke, Future Stars. Little MLK action on August 28th, 1963. Lucas Duda, Miguel Gonzalez, Eduardo Escobar, Jake Odorizzi, and Covelli Coco Crisp. Cereal. Boom. Next pack. The cardboard gods are holding out the drama. We haven't found the hit in the box yet, which keeps you watching, which is great. Of course, I say that, and here's the hit. Let's see here. Show off a few base cards. I'll let you try to ID them. Live a little mysteriously here. Ryan Howard, Ben Revere, Paul Goldschmidt. Show off what I can. The relic in this, this box. Jose Batista, career highs. He had 54 homers in 2010. It's a very, even the, even the relic inserts, everything seems a little more crafted this year, a little more intensive design and everything. This really doesn't want to focus, does it? Jeez. It's got me in focus. That's, that's not what you want to see. Next pack. Javier Baez. There's a sparkle variation on his card where there's a sparkle at the top of the Cardinals player's helmet. Eric Sogard, Starling Marte, or Mart, I think someone called me out for that last year. Jeff Baker, Mr. Soria. Soria, I got your name wrong. Soria. McGuire Musial dual card. Tuptelamachia, Heaney. Para Swarzak, base cards times four. Next pack. <clears throat> Haven't, uh, I think we've seen both of our buybacks. We've seen our one for sure hit. Maybe we'll see more. 
Should see some more parallels in this box. Maybe a little uh, other types of parallels if we're lucky here. I'm, I'm going to speed it up here a little bit. Ted Williams highlight card. Gap, uh, Gavin. Edwin Escobar rookie card. A couple of leaders cards, which I might have already shown. Chris Young, Eric Ibar, Zach Greinke. Series 1 is 350 cards, so you may see more commons than you're used to, just because that's the nature of a large set. Um, series 2 will also have 350. Hopefully we'll have an update set with some girthiness to it. Uh, I'd be a fan of that, to tell you the truth. Um, just, you know, standard tops cards. It's always good to have more players involved. Another Babe Ruth Code card. Another first pitch. This time it's Austin Mahone, who is a singer. Can't say I'm familiar, but there you go. Musician. Uh, Eddie Vedder of Pearl Jam. Jeff Bridges, the dude. Big Lebowski. Jack White, musician. There's a lot of people in that set. Pretty fun set. It's a good thing to see. It's baseball related, and yet it's surprising. Fernando Rodney with one of the more interesting photographs of the new year. Christian Yelich. Arizmende Alcantara, Diamondbacks team card, and a oh, third first pitch card. Detroit based card here, box here, Jack White. Carlos Santana, obligatory joke that I should do but won't do but just did because I didn't do it. Carlos Santana. He doesn't have a first pitch card. He's got a pitch though. Let's see here. Glenn Perkins, Adam Jones, Sin Su Chu, Jody Mercer, Tony Watson, Brooks Robinson, highlight card, Jesse Chavez, Kyle Lobstein, Gordon Beckham as an Angel, and Brian McCann as a Yankee. I'm going to try and focus and try to pick out a sparkle if it presents itself. There are photo variations which we have not yet seen in this box. I'm not that they're that easy because they're not. Um, but, you know, they're always possible. Cubs team card in the throwback uniforms. Babe Ruth. Gallery of Greats card. Andrew Kashner. Mark Reynolds. Matt Carpenter. His sparkle card has a sparkle on his shoulder. Not on this one, though. Next pack. Jason Castro, Evan Longoria, if I remember correctly, the sparkle is on the ball. Mike Trout, let me get this uh, screensaver off here. Mike Trout, that card just screams for a sparkle. He's not on the list just yet, but I'm sure he will be. Marcus Stroman, Steve Pierce, dual card, uh, inspired play duels, Cole Hamels, Steve Carlton. Masahiro Tanaka, Giancarlo Stanton, Addison Reed. Lots of color, lots of interesting textures in this uh, this brand. Definitely more of a organic feel to the basic tops design this year, which is good. It's just something different. Um, Ian Kinsler, Michael Taylor, Jason Hayward. Show off those three since I haven't seen them yet. <clears throat> leader card a simple card to go along with your Derek Jeter is the final kind of a farewell card of Paul Canerco tipping his cap to the crowd Ernie Banks who I believe has autographs in this one Adam Wainwright, Clay Buckholz Buster Posey, Matt Kemp Matt Kemp has a sparkle on his finger right above my finger but not on this one next pack down the home stretch we're at the uh, last fourth of the box James Loney, James McCann, Michael Bourne, the Blue Jays, Charlie Furbush, four first pitch cards in this box. Here's Susie. That's interesting considering there's only 15 cards in the set. Tim Lincecum, Curtis Granderson, George Springer. Show off two of those. <clears throat> Next pack. Rosny Castillo, 
should be one of the hotter rookies in this one. He has a sparkle card on his batting glove on his wrist. Not on that card, of course. Jackie Bradley Jr., this card kind of screams for a sparkle at some point. The nice defensive shot. John Axford. Fergie Jenkins. Yumi Garcia, rookie card, next pack. Tommy Medica, Bryce Brents, Eric Young, Scott Kazmir, Craig Kimbrell, John Smoltz, Jordan Lyles, Howie Kendrick, Jared Weaver, and more. There are some uh, interesting parallels. There are framed cards that are essentially the metal frames of regular cards. It's kind of a parallel this year, one per case. We've got uh, cr uh, clear plastic cards, which are one per case, or maybe two per case. I'll check the odds here at the end if I can tell, or if I have time, if I feel I have time. How about a foil parallel of Derek Jeter? In the short term, this could be a $10, $15 card probably. Maybe less. It's not numbered, but, you know, upon arrival... Cards like this will get a little more attention. Let's see here. Josh Donaldson, Yuenis Suspedis, both cards of both players who have sparkles. Jackie Robinson, archetypes. Brandon Ruiz, Evan Gaddis, future stars card, just not in Atlanta. Next pack. Let's see here. Hoping for some sparkle action. Here's Hope Jose Bautista's standard card. It has a photo variation. Oh look, Marlins guy gets a cardboard appearance in the background there. Hunter Pence World Series card. A fifth first pitch card, if I'm not mistaken. Eddie Vedder. Five. There's only 15 cards in the set, and we've pulled five of them. The owner of this box will be happy. Bryce Harper. He has a sparkle, not on this card. It's on his helmet. Madison Bumgarner, World Series MVP, also has a sparkle on his glove, not this card. One, two, three, four packs to go. Five packs to go, because I can't count. Try to keep it under 30 minutes here, but you know that's not going to happen. Freddie Freeman, Ryan Braun, Kenneth Vargas who has a photo variation. Jacob deGrom, Future Stars card. Nomar Garcia Parra, World is Chapman. Four packs to go. <laughs> Josh Harrison, Rick Porcello. A lot of inserts in that pack, makes me think sparkles. Carlton Fisk, Free Agent 40, David Murphy, Jonathan Papelbaum, next pack. Troy Tulowitzki, Cliff Lee, Brandon Moss, Gold Parallel. The parallels definitely look different this year. It's definitely an improvement. Ivan Rodriguez, 40 Free Agent, Junior Lake, Zach Wheeler, Jose Reyes, Two packs to go. Jock Peterson. Derek Jeter with a highlight card checklist. That is his final game at Yankee Stadium. Show off the Peterson rookie card. Clayton Kershaw. Pitches first career no hitter. Highlight checklist card. Brett Gardner, a third Babe Ruth, followed by a Lou Gehrig highlight card. Rosario, a couple more. And the final pack. Brian Morris, Gary Brown, Eric Hosmer, Starlin Castro with a nice photograph there. Jordan Zimmerman, black parallel, numbered out of 64 of a solid player to pull in a black parallel. Rosny Castillo. Griffey as a news highlight to go with a paired up card from July 14th, 1992. 
Chris Archer, Mike Miner, and Marlon Bird. Show off Mike Miner as the finale. So that was 2015 Top Series 1. Pulled uh, several first pitch cards, a relic card, a black parallel of a key rookie. A black parallel, that could be a, that could pay for half the box at least, maybe more. Um, that was a fun rip. I hope you guys are digging in. Tell us what you think in the comments below and uh, show off some of your 2015 tops here on Bega.com, Bega.com News. So until next time, until our Box Busters for real, not Box Busters preview video, I'm Chris Olds, Bega Baseball. Just keep ripping.